Welcome to Knee Health Challenge. We're on week four, day 26. Today, we're going to be going over shuffles, lateral lunges, uh, and just moving side to side. Now, for this one, we do want to stress those tissues on the inside and outside portion of the legs, especially as we walk. Those tissues are going to help stabilize the body so that you don't compensate and walk in different positions and weird positions, which then lead to compensations and usually pain from there. Uh, so on the left side of the screen, uh, I took a couple layers off, especially the IT band on the outside. Um, so as you can see, the muscles on the inside, outside, uh, they go and attach to the pelvis in different areas, um, and then come to the inside, outside portion of the knee. So we have to address this in order to stabilize the knee much better. So with this moving forward, I want you moving at your own speed, and at your own pace, ideally starting just with shuffles for a distance as long as you possibly can. It usually works better um, outside, environment dependent on that, whether it's snow if you're up north right now at this time of the year or with the, the heat coming in in Arizona right now with us. Um, so be mindful of that. Um, have some time planned out for this one. Um, we're going to either go for distance, max distance you possibly can, or for max time. Um, keeping measure on those and then going through um, every couple of weeks, every month of doing this uh, will help tremendously in terms of leg progression, um, hypertrophy of muscles, um, but more importantly, support and better function of the legs itself. So as we go into this, um, we're going to start off by shuffling side to side, ideally keeping your toes facing straight forward. It might seem mundane and old um, after a period of time. More challenging if you sink your hips down as well. Um, also more challenging, shuffling on your toes. We got front and side view, so you have a good idea with that. Uh, it's going to control rocking of the feet, which will put more tension outside, inside portion of the legs. Um, so before we even get to this next one, that is going to be definitely main for everyone. I want you all to start off with shuffles. See how you go from there. Uh, for some people, like for myself, I've, I've tried this out numerous times for months. Um, and usually for me right now, it, I'm about a quarter of a mile and I start feeling the burn quite a bit. You can also work in different speeds as well. Again, based on your comfort level, skill level, for younger individuals um, with more of athletic background, um, start off slow, get the, the process, get the, the, the feeling right, and then slowly sink your hips down, come back up. You can also go a little more quicker, um, hips down, hips up. Uh, that'll also help with agility work and shifting of the pelvis quite a bit. Now, as we go into, so that's going to be the first one. Ideally, everyone starting off max time uh, or distance shuffles one direction, same thing, switch other direction. So there's going to be two different time scenarios with that. Uh, the next one, progression, if you feel comfortable in the movements uh, of the shuffles, um, we want you to either do legs over front or behind. You can mix that up. Um, I just show you more for demonstration purposes. So bring the front or the leg that you're moving away from in front of the back leg or in front of the stabilizing leg. Again, sink your hips down. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit more challenging, but wherever direction you're going, going to, you want to bring that back leg in front of the stabilizing. Now, just the opposite leg swinging behind, especially the one outside, and then moving into the direction from there. So, and you can mix that up front to back, to front, to back, to front, 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 back, 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 either or. <laughs> it's similar, but we're just working different tissues either on the front of the outside quads or the back hamstring from there. Now, not today, so I want you to do side shuffles, both directions, and then either legs in front, behind, or on your toes. Um, or if you feel more inclined, you can do three today, where it's the shuffles, 
and leg in front behind and also side lunges as well. Max distance. You probably don't need a break in between those two, uh, but definitely focusing on this. So it's almost like a widened shuffle stance. Um, when you go through this, making sure that you're absorbing weight and not progressing too fast. Um, over a period of time, you might feel like you have to push off on the planted leg with your arms. That's okay. Uh, again, we're, we're, we need to send a signal to the tissues in order to induce change. You only need one signal sent a day. Um, that's all we need from there. So those are the main three. I got another fun one with this as I was on the same topic. You can try this on a different day or if you feel inclined for the day of, that's perfectly fine. Um, as you move into one direction, you your body can go into a, a clockwise and counterclockwise uh, rotational matter. Uh, and this works really, really well for especially athletes, younger athletes in terms of either like, for example, football, if let's say you're a corner and on defense, you're shuffling back, you have to be able to walk backwards and then turn in the same direction in which you want to move, but position your body in a different way. Um, so this is just kind of a, a simple, a simplistic fact with that one. Um, also, uh, go until you're dizzy. Ideally, try not to. Um, pay attention to how your feet move in terms of crossovers, in terms of shuffles. It'll also depend on when you stand up versus crouching down. Your body wants to be able to move as smoothly as possible. So that's going to involve the legs coming over and legs coming behind. You do this at a more rapid pace. Uh, it, it's going to, it's going to change on how well you function, move and use the muscles in the inside, outside portion of the legs. So uh, today's challenge shuffles each direction for max time or distance, one direction for one leg leading the other. And then the same thing with the other leg leading the other. So two different times there, and then you can mix in the, the leg coming in front or behind or together back and forth as well for one direction and the same thing for the other. Um, ideally, I would want you to mix those up so you have a good idea in terms of how the, the tension feels. Um, but those are the two main ones. From there, you can go into other progressions, either on your tippy toes, um, in terms of rotations, clockwise, counterclockwise in a direction, uh, lateral lunges or side lunges, if we will. Either or, um, totally up to you but we need those two main ones, like I said before. So uh, that is the game plan and the challenge for today. Best of luck. The legs are going to start feeling it after that. So uh, see you guys on the next one. See you tomorrow. Woo! <laughs>